Well, we're almost two years into U.S. restrictions on companies like NVIDIA and their ability to sell advanced AI processors into China. And China's, of course, trying to respond to this by uh, building their own high-end AI chips. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let's open up a discussion. I've been away for a while. I'm back now. Good to see you. Like, share, subscribe. That's the most important thing. Today, we're going to talk about semiconductors. Very complicated topic to talk about. But don't you worry. We're going to make it easy. All you need to, do, to know is going to be right here in this video. Trust me. Listen, did you know that your car is using between 1,400 up to 3,000 of these chips to operate from your window going up and down, indicators, hooter, radio, you name it. But then we can talk about smartphones, laptops, computers, uh, fridges, microwaves, traffic lights, billboards, uh, space rockets. I think you get my point. What I'm trying to say is these semiconductors are basically the oil from back in the day. And that is why we hear about this war of this war, these wars. Yeah, let's call it wars because that's what they are wars between china and america what is going on here let me explain let's go over here real quick so here's a little graph for you you can see share of global modern semiconductor manufacturing started from the 1990s up to 2030 what what is going on here well you can see the americans are the baby blue started off on 37 percent and make their way down this is a projection by 2030 they say they're going to be on 10 percent they say the chinese started on zero percent and you can see the graphic goes up or this little thing goes up this little worm and it goes up to 24 percent i call bullshit why do i call bullshit because it's actually about 60 to 70 percent why are you saying it jerry let me explain there's an island Chinese island called Taiwan. You know, I think you heard about it. The Americans love the Taiwan people, their freedom, their democracy. They want to help them fight against the evil China. Bullshit. What is happening over there? The Americans love a company called TSMC. It's the biggest, best semiconductor company in the world. That is what's going on over there. But if you add TSMC with China's mainland semiconductor companies, and you look at this projection, I will tell you it's going to be 60 to 70 percent of China controlling the semiconductor market. That's basically what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, the Americans love war. And this is where the level of these uh, semiconductor chips comes in. Number one, you get a low end. Number two, you get a mid range. Number three, you get this high end chips. What do they use the high-end chip for? Well, we live in a world where AI is busy taking over. You see what's happening over here? America, understand, our military war machines uses the low-end uh, chips. We need to figure out a way to be the first in the world to get this AI chip, this monster chip, high-end chips, in our uh, military machines. Because that way we can continue killing people around the world that is why they need it the chinese are building this thing this chip this ai chip or let's call it high-end chip to use with ai to protect the world that's one thing you need to understand very clear before we continue do you remember all the sanctions they placed on china back in the day when this whole chip thing started do you remember remember what they did to ming wan joe from huawei illegally arrested her that the Americans have this way of playing a dirty, these dirty tricks to stop China from actually saving the world. That's what you need to know because that's exactly what they want to do. You see, if China has this power uh, of, of, of protecting the world, the Americans won't be allowed to go around this planet killing people. That is what it's all about. And also China wants to break the world into a multipolar world where countries can decide. Do you want to do business with China? Do you want to do business with America? It's your choice. We're not going to place sanctions on countries. We're not going to be ugly towards other countries. If we have the better product, product, do business with us. If they have the better product, do the business with them. You choose. That's what China tries to do. But the Americans are trying to stay onto this throne of power. They, they, they love the power they have right now. If you look at this graph here, you can see... Uh, forget about all the other years. Just go over to 2024, quarter one. You can see at the bottom here, it's TSMC, Samsung Foundry, UMC, SMIC, Global Foundry, and others. Now, this is the Global Foundry market share. Look at this on, 20, on the year 2024, quarter one. 62% for TSMC. That is that massive company standing on the island. It's a Chinese company because, remember, Taiwan belongs to China, but not... Uh, let's continue. Samsung south korean company sits on 13 percent if you look at us umc 
Chinese company sits on 6%. SMIC, China's best, best and biggest semiconductor company on the mainland, sits on 6%. Global Foundry. Congratulations, America. You've got one company over here. That's an American company on 5%. Others on 9%. Ladies and gentlemen, if you add TSMC, UMC, SMIC, if you add them together, China is dominating the whole world if it gets to semiconductors. But you see, here's the problem. You need machines to make these semiconductors. And that is where the Americans play the, this dirty tricks, where they place restrictions. They stop other companies from around the world to do business with China so that China cannot grow further or bigger into this whole semiconductor AI business. That is their game plan. They try so hard to stop China because they know China is capable. Do you remember what they did with China back in the day in the space race or space exploration rather? The Americans built the International Space Station. They banned China for years from getting on there. The Chinese said, okay, if you do this to us, we're going to build our own. So they built their own space station, which is 10 times better looking, way better than the American International Space Station. And so, by the way, the Chinese astronauts won't get stuck on there or in one of China's space rockets because they actually work. Um, let's get back to the story. Ladies and gentlemen, you might wonder, why are the Americans doing this? What is the goal? Here's the goals. They want to slow China's military advances. They want to... Uh, they want to slow China's development of advanced technologies such as AI. Remember, they want to grab onto this AI thing. If we can use it in our war machines, we can kill more people. Where China say, no, we're going we're gonna to win this race of making better AI because we want to stop you guys from killing people around the world. Back to the story. Number three, increase the cost of semiconductors for China's companies. They want to make it hard for Chinese companies, smaller companies to, 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 to start up and actually produce some product. Uh, they want to disrupt supply chains and cause semiconductor prices to increase. These are the goals the Americans are trying. The dirty tricks they play with these sanctions and these restrictions they are playing. You need to understand one thing. With all these restrictions they are doing and playing these dirty tricks, Nvidia, an American company, they are suffering because they lose all the Chinese consumers. Yes, they lose big business over here. It's so crazy over there in America right now that the lawyers or the companies, the companies in America are pleading and crying and begging lawyers to go fight against the American government and ask them to please stop with these restrictions. Please stop with this illegal sanctions and all this crap just because you want to stay in power. Let's do fair business. That is how bad it goes in America at this moment, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I have a little bonus for you here. Check this out. Ukraine sits with neon gas. Did you know that Ukraine supply the whole market of semiconductors with 50% of neon gas? Can you believe it? It's a very important thing to have when you make these uh, semiconductors. That is why the Americans love Zelensky and the Ukrainians so much. That is why NATO and America is fighting the proxy war against Russia in Ukraine. One of the reasons they want to protect their resources. They can't give two shits about the Ukrainians. The same as they don't care about any Taiwanese Chinese person. They care about the resources. They don't want to lose their power. That is what it's all, that's what it's all about. I hope you guys wake up. This is basically what it's all about, this whole trade war thing. China want to protect the world. China want to do fair business. America is playing games. America want to build massive machines to kill people around the world with these things. So, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, China will have plants all over this country real soon. China is busy working on massive products. Huawei Redis, new AI chip to challenge Nvidia in China. They are busy, my friends. All I have to say now is, the truth is, America lost. China won. Again.